Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser and Mighty G. And uh, this past Wednesday, the 2nd of August, uh, Wes Craven's birthday was that day. And to honor the uh, great horror director who gave us Freddy Krueger, I'm going to rank all the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I will not include Wes Craven's new Nightmare. I don't consider that part of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. I consider that a separate film all in each other. So I'm going to rank all seven uh, films in the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series and I also will not rank Freddy vs. Jason that is not part of the Nightmare on Elm Street series so I will rank all of the seven films uh, starting you know obviously starting from the bottom one up so here's how I'm ranking all Nightmare on Elm Street movies uh, coming in at number seven it's the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street that came out in 2010 it stars Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy Krueger, uh, it actually had some good ideas into it. Uh, the micro nap, micro naps were pretty good. I thought Jackie did a great job in presenting a very more uh, different type of Freddy. He's not crony one-liners. He uh, has some very good liners in lines in the film. But unfortunately, overall, the film was very disappointing. Uh, Rooney Mara, who played Heather, uh, really was terrible in it. You can see that she was not into it. Very well cast. Uh, for I understand, she did not like horror pictures. So it looks like she just did it to cast a paycheck. Very disappointed. So that's why it's number seven. Coming in at number six is the uh, sequel, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That's number two, uh, Freddy's Revenge. Uh, this one was a, not a very good sequel. Um, obviously, uh, they really tried hard, and unfortunately, uh, probably unbeknownst to themselves, to have little gay overtones in this picture. It doesn't take away from the fact, I'm pretty sure it's not what they intended, but unfortunately, now we see that there was obviously some gay overtones in it. Freddy really doesn't kill a lot of people. Uh, well, actually, he does. I think he kills only two people in the film. Uh, I think I might want to check that out, but not a very good. Um, uh, Friday the if not a very good Night by Elm Street movie. That's why it's at list at number six. Number five is uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Child. Uh, this one is where it the series starts to take a real dip downward. Uh, I thought, you know, after the last movie with uh, between Dream uh, Warriors and Dream Master, I thought Freddy was on the way up. But eventually this one i think this is it's all the way down freddy cracks a little real bunch of one-liners really was a good movie it was passable enough uh but that goes up to number five uh the dream the dream child uh, as freddy starts to um, uh, this is where i think it was name was april i forget her name i have to research that if i got that really good name was april uh she takes over as the final child after he killed heather in Heather in the um, no Nancy when he killed Nancy I got that's the act actress's name after he killed Nancy in the Dream Warriors the girl named April takes over so hopefully um, no that was yeah Dream yeah the Dream Child was okay it just wasn't good enough but that's why it's number five on my list number four on my list is actually uh, Freddy's Dead the Final Nightmare for some reason a lot of people did not like this picture I loved it. It's very good. I thought it was a very good concluding, well, nobody didn't conclude it, but a very good way to end uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, series. Uh, it actually gave Freddy a very good, definitive, more backstory. Uh, we find out that he was actually married, he had a child, he had a daughter, uh, and, that, and it gives his revenge much more meat to it, you know. Even of course, him being a child molester, that doesn't change. But the reason why he wants revenge on the parents is because they took away his daughter. So that's why I thought uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, was a very good. And that's why it's number four on my list. Number three is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. I thought there was a very good uh, follow-up from Dream Warriors. Uh, we get introduced to the April character right now. I thought everything was fine. I love the... Um, the cockroach scene that we saw in it. Very good practical effects in that one right there. Uh, I love the April character. Like I said, she was very good in the film. And once again, Freddy is just being Freddy with his excellent one-liners. So that's why it's number three on my list. That's A Nightmare on Elm Street, three, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. 
Uh, number two on my list, everyone's going to be surprised because you would think it'd be number one, but in my case, the original Knife in Elm Street is number two on my list. Uh, why would I put the original uh, below what more likely people will figure out will be the top one? Uh, I guess because I like the third one, and you'll find out a little better than I like this one. Uh, mainly because, don't get me wrong, it doesn't take away the fact of how great uh, the original Night Brown Entry was, particularly original. Rest Craven does an excellent job in setting up the dream sequences. You don't know what's real, you don't know what's a dream, and obviously Freddy is much more terrifying in this one. Uh, the When Tina gets killed, it's very, very uh, uh, graphic, very bloody. Uh, Johnny Depp, when he gets killed, very bloody. Very great film, very great horror movie. It is on my top 10 list of horror films of all time. So that should give it right there. But definitely, it's only number two on my list here. So obviously, number one on my list, obviously, is uh, Night by Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Now, why is this on this one and not number two? It's because I just simply love Dream Warriors. I love the concept. You have Heather's back. She's back as Nancy. She's trying to rescue these kids that are all dreaming about Freddy. This is Freddy t particularly at his best. Because not only he's not bounding one, he's bounding a whole bunch of kids. And uh, the dream sequences are great. Uh, Freddy's great. Uh, Heather Lankin Camp is great. Everyone is great in this picture. Uh, the concept is great. We get a little bit more about Freddy's background and, and uh, who he is and how he became to be. The whole entire film is great. It's a great slasher picture. That's the reason why it is number one on my list of the Night Van Elm Street series. So that's my list of the Night Van Elm Street series. Um, if you uh, want to tell me yours, you can comment below and let me know what do you think is your uh do you agree with my list do you have your own list how about let me know and we'll discuss about it uh do you think i should put a uh, uh, a new nightmare on this list should i put freddy versus jason on here comment below let me know and we'll discuss about it so once again i said that's my uh list for the nightmare number three cities once again that's my treatment for west craven's uh, birthday, which again was on the August, 2nd of August. Uh, we do miss him. I am pretty sure that uh, he is uh, up in heaven you know, trying to figure out what more, you know, hopefully we can come up with some more great horror films or another great horror icon. Uh, and we certainly do miss his presence here in the world of horror. So that's my video for today. Uh, once again, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and also ring that bell. That way you'll be notified for any no uh, notification when I put something new on my channel. Also, all my social media links will be down in the description below. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G. And always remember that horror rules.